Creating a free business email address is actually really easy and straightforward. And if you already have hosting for your website and a domain name, it's probably something you already have, but just haven't set up yet. Now I know what you're thinking, what's wrong with that generic email address you can get from Hotmail, Yahoo, Google, etc. Well, let's put this to the test. Up on the screen are two email addresses. Which one would you trust more if you received an offer about the services they provide? I think we all know the answer to this one. Now that debate's over, in this video, we're gonna look at two ways we can create a business email address. The first method we're gonna look at is creating a free business email address through a hosting provider. The second method, we're gonna set up one using Google Workspace. Let's do it. So the first thing we need to do in this video is get some WordPress hosting. And with WP Beginner, you get a fantastic special offer with Bluehost if you use our affiliate link. And all you need to do to use our affiliate link is type in wpbeginner.com forward slash refer forward slash Bluehost and click enter. As this is an affiliate link, we do get a small commission if you use that link. And that link will bring you to this page right here. And as you can see, you get a special offer for WordPress users. And with this offer, you get a free domain, a free SSL certificate, Bluehost will install WordPress for you and you'll get other options as well. All we need to do is click the green get started button right here and that then brings you to the sign up page so you can select the plan that's going to suit you now what i would recommend is looking at the different options that you get with each of these plans and see which one is going to fit your budget but also give you an option to grow as well and the one that we recommend because it's a really really good deal is the choice plus option right here because you can add unlimited websites to this plan you get a huge amount of website space you get the free SSL certificates, you get the free domain name, and then you get all these other options as well. So once you've made the choice, just click the green select button right here to choose the plan that you want. So next you'll see this page, and this page is where we'll set up your domain. So if you've bought a domain previously, you can use that and you can add that right here, or you can use the free domain name that you get when signing up for Bluehost, and you can choose that right here. So I'm gonna add in a domain that I want for my business. And I'm just going to click the blue next button to see if that's available. As you can see, that domain is available, so I can use that for my website. All you need to do is fill in your account information right there. Take a look at your package information and make sure that that's correct. You can use the drop down right here to choose either 12 or 36 months. And if we scroll down a little bit more, you can also see under package extras, there are things that you get with the package and also there's add-ons that you can add to this package as well. I don't currently want this add-on, so I am gonna uncheck that. So once you've added your package extras, then you can add your payment information and create your account. Once your account's created, then you can sign into your account and I will meet you in the Bluehost hosting dashboard. So now we've logged into our Bluehost hosting dashboard and we've got our hosting and we've got our domain name. What is the next thing that we need to do? Well, the next thing we need to do is create our business email address. And it's a really easy process and this process will be pretty much similar for all hosting providers that provide you with free email addresses with the hosting when you buy it so the next thing we need to do here is log into our cpanel and to get to the cpanel all we need to do is come over to advanced here and click on that and once the cpanel is opened you'll see at the top here is the email section and underneath the email section is email accounts just click on that and now we're on the email accounts page this is where you'll see all the available email accounts that you create for this hosting account. So we don't currently have any email accounts set up for our business and our site. So in this example with Bluehost, all we need to do is come over to the little blue create button over here, click on that, and now we get to set up our first email account. So our first option here is to choose the domain name that you want associated with this email account. We've got the domain name that we purchased with this hosting, but you can click the drop down just there and choose any of the other different domain names you might have on your account as well. Below that, a very important one is the username you want to use for your email address, whether that's your name, your business name, or something else that you want to write in there, you just type it in there. Below that, you can choose your password. So you can enter a password in here, or you can auto generate one by clicking this button right here. So I'm just gonna click on that. That's generated a very strong password there. And then below that, there are optional settings, but you don't need to touch them at this point. And then to create this email account, all you need to do is click the blue create button right there. And as you can see, that's been successful. We've got a success message up here and we can see the email address that I've just added in there. So now we've created the email address. 
How do we check our emails? Through Bluehost, it's a really simple process. All we need to do is head over to here and click the check email button right here. And by doing that, that's logged us into our webmail. We can see that up here, it says webmail. And then to view emails, all we need to do is click this open button right here. And now we're in our email inbox. So we'll be able to see all of the messages and emails that we get right here. And then it's very similar to other email clients. There are drafts, sent, spam folders, deleted items, and things like that. There's options for contacts, calendar, and choosing some of the settings. But what if we want to connect this email account to an email client or have it on our phone or our desktop and access it in an easier way? Well, if we just head back, so we're back on our email accounts here and we can see there's a little option next to the email address that we've just created called connect devices. So we can click on that and that then brings us to this page and you can see it can automatically configure scripts for different email applications as well. And below that, there are also some manual settings as well you can input to set up those email applications as well. So now let's look at the option of setting up our business email address with Google Workspace. Now in the description below, there is a link that we're providing to Google Workspace. It is an affiliate link. So that does give us a small commission if you sign up for this service. And I think the main question here is why would you want to sign up for a service like Google Workspace where it's a paid for service? Well, if you're venturing online with your business or just starting a business up and you need a business email address, Google Workspace is a fantastic option because it's not only the professional business email address that you're going to get, you're also going to get a lot more for the money that you're spending. So if you follow that link in the description, you'll be brought to this page right here. And this is the sign up page for Google Workspace. And as you can see, it gives you a little bit of information there about tools and services that they provide. And right here, you can see what workspace includes so you get the gmail account you also get drive you get google meets with video calls etc so it's a really really powerful suite of services and a great option if you're starting your business online so as i said google workspace is a paid for service and they do give you a range of options depending on the needs of your business so the one that I'm going to go through in this video is the business starter package. So once you've chosen the option that suits you, you can click the get started button and that will take you to the next step. So on this page right here, I'm just going to enter the business name that I want associated with my Google Workspace account. And then below that, you get to choose the number of employees in your business. And just a quick note here, any of these options that you choose, so if you choose just you, because it's just you signing up, or whether that you have two to nine employees, any of these options will then determine how much you are charged per month by Google. So what we recommend is just signing up for just you and then adding in the accounts as and when you need them, rather than picking a number right now. I'm just gonna click on just you, choose your region and then click next. Then all you need to do is fill in your contact information, then click next. So this page right here is asking you whether you have a domain name already set up for your business. So if you do, then you click the yes, and that will take you through to verify that you actually own that domain name. And that's the process we're gonna go through in this video. But if you don't have a domain name, then you can click no, I need one. And then Google Workspace will take you through purchasing a domain name that suits your business. There is additional cost to that as well. So if you follow that process, just be aware there is an additional cost for the domain name as well on top of the Google Workspace monthly cost. I'm just going to click yes, I have one I can use. Then all you need to do is type the domain name in here. So then it's just asking you to confirm that is the domain name of the account you want setting up. So all you need to do is click next and opt out of this one. And this is going to be the business email address that you're setting up for yourself. So choose something that you will be using for your business email address. Uh, choose a password, then click the recapture and then click agree and continue. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is enter your password and log in to your Google Workspace account. Then you may need to verify your account, so you can go ahead and do that. And once you're through the verification process, you'll then see this screen. So you just need to agree to Google's terms and conditions. Just go click on I understand. And then it's gonna ask you to review your payment plan. So you just review that and then click next. 
and then just go through the checkout process for paying for your account. And then once you've been through all that, you'll now see this screen, which to let you know that your Google Workspace account has been created. All you need to do then is click on the continue to set up button. And now we need to sign in to continue to our admin console. So we just need to put our email address in that we've just set up. And then once you've done that, hit the next button right down here. That's then gonna ask you for your password. So enter your password and continue. So now we've logged into the admin console of our Google Workspace account. We get this little welcome message and all you need to do is click next right here. And here Google Workspace will take you through a process to get your workspace set up correctly. So as you can see, this setup process is broken up into three parts. So part one is to protect your site by verifying your domain with Google Workspace. Then if you click next, part two is to create other Google Workspace accounts if you need them. And then after that, you can activate Gmail for your domain name and your business. So as we said, the first step is verifying our domain name. So to do that, all we need to do is click the little blue protect link right there. And this message right here is just talking us through how to verify our domain name. So all we need to do is press, I'm ready to protect my domain. So now Google Workspace is gonna take us through the process of verifying the domain. And the first thing it's asking us to do is to open up Bluehost and manage some of our DNS settings. So this is gonna verify our domain name through DNS records. To do that, we're gonna to head to Bluehost. We're gonna to go to manage and then DNS. I'm gonna to head to the hosting dashboard in Bluehost. So now I'm on the Bluehost hosting dashboard. Just need to head to domains here and click on my domains. And then under this domain right here, I'm just gonna click on manage. And now we're managing this domain right here. As you can see there's a DNS tab right there. I'm just gonna click on that. And now that shows us our DNS manager. So we can head back to the page in Google Workspace. As it says here, go to step two to add the verification record. So we're just gonna click next to go to step two. So all we need to do right here is add a text record with the following code in the text value and make sure that we have the settings set up as well. So we're just gonna to go to our Bluehost portal. On our DNS manager right here, we just wanna scroll to the text records. So here we can see our text records. We're gonna add a record in here. So our host record right here is at text value right here. We just go back to Google Workspace. We copy that right there. So that's copied that to clipboard. And then we're gonna add it into our text value right here back in our hosting dashboard. And our TTL right here, if we go back to Google Workspace, we can see four hours is what it says right there. So we're just gonna change that on our hosting dashboard to four hours and then click on save. So that's updated that record right there. If we go back to Google Workspace, we can now, uh, final step right here, is to click on Protect Domain. And this may take a couple of minutes, so I'm gonna jump ahead once this is verified. So now we've done our first step and we've verified our domain name for our Google Workspace. We're gonna skip step two because we don't have any other users that we're gonna add to this workspace. We're gonna go ahead and go to step three, which is to activate Gmail for our domain name and our email address. So all we need to do is click the activate button right here. And then we just get this little pop-up just saying that before we begin are all the existing email addresses added to our Google Workspace. So after you've had given that a read and you're ready to move forward, just click I'm ready to activate Gmail. And just like how we verified our domain name, we're gonna now add some more records to our DNS records to help Google Workspace manage our emails for the domain name for our business. So again, there are a couple of steps here we need to take. One is to open up our DNS manager in Bluehost. So you can follow this link right here, or I've already got the DNS manager open from when we verified our domain with Google Workspace. So I'm just gonna open that. So now we're on this section right here. We wanna scroll down to our MX records. And if we look at Google Workspace, we can go to step two. And then in this second step right here, what it's asking us to do is to copy and paste each one of these records and add it to our domain MX records. So if we head back over to Bluehost, we can see right here, we've got a MX record that points to mail dot, the domain name that we chose. 
We're just gonna remove that. So we're gonna click this button right here, then just click remove, just confirm that. And then to add in MX records, we're just gonna click the add record. And if we scroll down a little bit, now we can add in our first MX record. So we're just gonna go back to Google Workspace. So what we're gonna do for each one of these is add in the priority, the host record, and the points too. So priority is one, the host record is at, and then we're just gonna click that and it copies to the clipboard. So then let's add our first MX record in Bluehost. So we've got a priority of one, we've got a host record at points two, we'll just paste that in here, we'll add the TTL as four. Then just click save to add that MX record. And now we can go ahead and add in all of the other MX records. So we're just gonna do that. Now we've added all those in, we're gonna head back to Google Workspace. Then it says, after adding these five rows, then come back and activate Gmail. So click this. And then this is gonna take a little bit of time to validate the records we've just added to our domain. And you might find that you'll get an error message like this when you're validating these record changes. And that means that you might need to give your hosting provider a bit of time for these records to update on their side before you retry activation on the Google Workspace side. Also, it does give you a couple of pointers that there are some records need to be deleted on your hosting provider's side. So you could do that as well and then wait a little bit and then retry the activation again. So now we can see that our MX records are fully updated and that's been confirmed by our Google Workspace account. We can click the finish button right here. And now we can see that step has now got a blue tick next to it. We're not gonna add any users at this point, so we're gonna skip this for now. And now we get a confirmation message to let us know that we're all set up to use our Google Workspace. And one of the things that we can do is send a test email. So we can do that. And if we sign into Gmail, we can see right here is our test email that we sent to test that everything is working with our new email address. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let us know in the comments below. We read all the comments as well. So if you've got any questions, drop one down there as well and we'll try and help you out. If you wanna see more videos like this, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.